Hi and welcome to the third video of our Modbus Plus Python IoT training. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can create your own Modbus TCP IP simulator device using Modbus Slave software. And after creating that Modbus TCP IP simulator device, we try to read a value from that device using ModeScan software and we were able to read those value using ModeScan software. And after that, we have tried one notebook and the notebook is how to connect with Modbus TCP IP device. Okay. So if our Python Modbus TCP IP client is able to connect with our device, then we are getting true as a result. And if it is not able to connect with our Modbus TCP IP simulator device, then we are getting false as a result. So if I run this cell now, then we are getting false as a result because my Modbus TCP IP device is not connected right now. So if I go to connection and then if I connect and then if I press OK and then if I run this cell again, then I am getting true as a result. So it means that we are able to connect with our Modbus TCP IP simulator device. Now in this video, we are going to cover how you can write integer values to Modbus TCP device holding register and how you can read integer values from Modbus TCP device holding register. Okay. So if I minimize this and if I open mode scan and mode bus live parallelly, you can see we have our mode bus TCP device from mode bus slave software. Now I want to connect to that mode bus TCP simulator device using mode scan software. So it is connected. Now if I change any value here, suppose if I type one and then press OK, you can see my mode scan is able to read those values from my simulated device. And if I go to 40,002 and if I try to write value 2 and then if I update, see value 2 and value 2. So my mode scan software is able to read my Modbus device values and my mode scan software is also able to write something on my holding register. Now I want my Python to behave same. So I want my Python to read those values and I want my Python to write those values. So how can we do that? So we will go to our notebook again and here we have read integer values from Modbus TCP device and write integer values to my Modbus TCP device and where we want to read and write. So we want to read and write in the holding register. So we will first open read integer values from Modbus TCP device. Okay, so let me open it parallelly. Sorry. Okay, now my more scan is already able to read and write those values. Now we are in the Python notebook. We have to import everything which is required. Then we are making connection and our Python client is able to connect with this simulated mode bus device. Now we want to read holding register. So that is why we have to use this function client.read holding register. Okay. And inside this function, we have to pass some parameter. So parameter will be first parameter will be address from which address you want to read the value. The second parameter is how many values or how many register you want to read in a single shot and then after slave device number or we can say device id or we can say unit id we have to specify here okay and here you can see client dot read holding register i have specified address as a zero so in this case zero is equal to 40001 so 40001 and i want to read only one address so i want to read only 40001 and my device ID is equal to one. So device ID is equal to one. So that is why I have specified it here. So when I run this function, I, I will get some result and that result will store into this result. And we are printing those result in register format. Okay. So if I run this cell, I will see the value one because in my 40,001, I have a value one. So if I change the value to hundred and if I press okay, now, if I run this cell again, then I'll get a value 100. So if I separate it, okay, so this function reads the value and this function 
prints the value but uh, if we remove this then we will get 100 in a list so that is why we are accessing first element from the list so that is why we are getting 100 and if i try to read two values in a single shot then i have to write it two here and then i have to run this cell and then i can run this cell so i will get 100 as a first value of list and i will get two as a second value of my list and if i want to print every value then i will remove this and then i'll run my cell so my 40001 has a value of 100 and my 40002 address has a value of 2 okay so now we will repeat it again so what is our objective of this video is we want to read integer value from our holding register address from our modbus tcp device okay that is clear for that we have to import some libraries so that is why we are running this cell to import the libraries and then after we have to create a python client so that is why client is equal to modbus tcp client and we are specifying the ip address of our modbus device and port number of modbus device in my case it will be my local host and it will be my port number 502 if you have any physical device then you can write ip address of that physical device and whatever the port number of that physical device you can write it here generally for modbus it will be 502 but your device has some settings that you can change the port then you have to write that port here after that we will try to connect with our device using client.connect and if we are able to connect with our device then we will get a true as a result and if we are not able to connect with our device then we will get a false as a result but right now my device is up and running so that is why we will get true as a result after that the main function what we want to do after connecting with our device we want to read holding register okay so that is why we have to use this function read holding register and whenever you read holding register it will normally or default it will give you integer values okay so we have to specify from which address we want to read the values how many values we want to read and what is the device id so if i run this cell and if i print it okay we have to restart our kernel and clear all the output because we have created our client two times okay so now again run this cell run this cell okay we are good to go see 102 now you might have a question that i don't want to read from my starting holding register which is zero it means 40001 i want to read from 40002 means my first register will be 40002 and my second register will be 40000 Three. so here 40003 means your holding register 2 okay so here 2 represents the 40003 okay now what you want is you want to read only these two values this address and this address so you want to read it's holding register 40002 and holding register 40003 so instead of 0 here you have to write 1 and then you have to run this cell and then you will get 2 and 0 because our python client is try to read this first value and then it will try to read the second value and the first value is 2 and the second value is 0 so that is why we are getting 2 and 0 now if i write something here instead of 0 if i write 300 and if i update it and if i try to read it again you can see 2 and 300 now instead of 2 let me write 400 and let me try to read it again so you can see 400 and 300 now i want to read holding register 40001 40002 and 40003 so i want to read all these three at a single shot so i will write it 0 i will write count as a 3 and my unit id will be 1 so let me run this and you can see the value 100 400 and 300 got it so this is how you can read holding register value from your modbus tcp device okay and uh, default or normally it will be your integer values we will see in the future if you want to read floating values or if you want to read and write double integer values 
okay so i hope this part is clear that how you can read integer values from your modbus tcp device over the holding registers okay now the second part of this video how you can write integer values to modbus tcp device on the holding register okay so same we have to install the library if it is not installed then after we have to import the library we have to create our client so client is equal to modbus tcp client localhost which is ip address of my modbus tcp device and the port number is 502 and then we will try to connect with our client so our client python client is connected to our device now the main part of the video write integer values to modbus tcp device okay and we want to write integer values to our holding register so we have to use this function write registers okay in this function we have to specify two parameter address so on which address you want to write the value and what value you want to write is the second parameter so you can see client dot write register and one and hundred so here one means 40,002 and here zero means 40,001 but I want to write something on this address this line okay so this line will be my 40,004 okay so if I write it here then HR 40,003 is equal to 2 and HR 40,004 is equal to 3 okay so i want to write something at holding register 40004 so that is why i have to specify 3 here and what i want to write is 33 so if i run this cell then you can see 33 is available here okay now we want to write something else to some else register so instead of 3 we want to write on the 40001 holding register and what we want to write is 0 so we have to modify this and when we run this cell you can see zero has been written over here and it is also reflected over here so this is how you can read integer values from your holding register of your modbus tcp device and as well as you can write it so in this video we have covered two things first write integer values to holding register and read integer values from the holding register of your modbus tcp device okay so i hope everything is clear to you and if you have any doubt any question any queries then you can ask me in the comment section you can ask me over the email or you can directly ping me over the telegram okay so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we are going to write floating point values to holding register and we are going to read floating point values from holding registers okay of our modbus tcp ip device Okay, so stay tuned for the next video and we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.